Well, greetings and welcome. My name is John Shepkov. I'm happy to be in front of you. And the reason I'm doing this about me, and again, I'm John Shepkov, is because number one, people want to know who they are before they will even take the time to even pick up the telephone and have a conversation. So I decided to do a live video so that way you get to see my personality, you can see my my expressions, my my the way I move my hands or whatever. You can see, you know, the brightness of my eyes and when I'm smiling, not smiling, whatever. You get to feel who John Shepkoff is and that's what you really want to know. Who is this guy John Shepkoff? And I'm and I want to do that. And the thing I want to share with you is about my life so you understand why I am the way I am and why I am successful because of my life, you might say. First of all, number one, I want to, you know, set some rules. Number one is do not feel sorry for me. Everything that I'm going to share with you, it was a learning experience and it helped me to be a better person. That's the first thing, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about because I want to share what's called my why. Why am I able to do certain things? Why am I successful in an edging, okay? I want to talk about that and I want to talk about uh, another program that I have on my website is on the debt program. So first of all, number one, you have to know your why. Okay, because when you understand your why, and I'm gonna explain my why so that it helps you to understand, so you can understand your why. Because everybody has a different why. That's why they're gonna do well or not well, okay? And a, a lot has to do with is you must know your why. Because if you don't understand your why, if you wanna to be totally debt free, if you don't understand your why, you can't be debt free. If you wanna make a lot of money, unless you understand your why, you can't make a lot of money. So that's why I'm going to share my why to help you to understand, okay? So first of all, um, when I was growing up, I was taken away from my father at age five. My mother left me at three months old, um, and I was raised with housewives. Again, please don't feel sorry for me. I'm sharing my part of my life because I want to be vulnerable to show you, and I'm not afraid to be vulnerable, and to show you and disclose to help you understand so you understand what my why is because you, you need to know what your why will be, okay? So uh, I was awarded at the court, and because of that, I was put into foster homes, and being I was in, in foster homes, I was in a total of over 17 foster homes, okay? The other thing is, um, because I was in so many foster homes, Number one is um, nobody ever seemed to buy shoes for me. So my I got short fitted in shoes and so my feet were bad, you might say, uh, because uh, nobody put me in shoes my, as my feet grew. Uh, my clothes, you know, my pants were probably this high up above my shoes. And when I went to school, everybody knew the new kid because first of all, pants legs were this high up. So they knew I didn't get clothes. I even had holes. Did, did the foster parents buy clothes? No, they didn't do it. And I have a bad, I had a bad thing. I used to get really, really super embarrassed because I'd say, you know, this is my foster parent or my foster mom or my foster dad. I hated that. It made me, because it seemed like all the other kids that had real mothers and real fathers. And so I would get really upset, especially when I'd have friends and they would bad mouth their mother or their dad. And I just said, man, you don't know what it's like not to have real parents. Uh, I'd love to have your parents, I would tell them. So, um, um, I knew what it wasn't to have, I never had a connection with a mom and a dad. And it and it hurt, it scarred me, you might say, but it helped me to be a better person. When I was growing up, because I was in over 17 foster homes, I was just hopping from place to place to place. I'd go into different schools. And so I really never read very well, okay? Uh, I probably memorized um, a certain, you know, maybe 1,500 words so I could read somewhat but I didn't know how to read. I didn't know the mechanics. And it wasn't until I was emancipated, in other words, when I turned 18 years of age, that I found out I didn't really know how to read uh, that well. Um, I could barely write. Uh, so I had to look out and learn how to read. So I, I started scouring and looking, you know, things called phonics, and, and, and I taught myself how to read. That's the bottom line. And then uh, I decided, well, you know, I need to go to college. And remember, I was in over 17 schools. 
Um, in fact, I never graduated as a 12th grader. I actually graduated as a 11th grader. So it means I had to take on extra classes so that I can at least get a diploma. So I actually graduated when I was in the 11th grade because I was told by the court, uh, when you turn 18, you are emancipated, you're on your own, and that's it. You know, if you don't have your life together, too bad. And so when I was growing up, I knew those things. I was a good kid. All right, so if you're wondering why was I in so many foster homes, it wasn't me, it's because the foster parents, they all took on kids because they wanted to make money. This is how they made money. And you might say, I used to get really upset because of you know these foster parents, they would only take on kids long enough to help them buy a car or whatever, or buy their home, and, and then you know out the door I would go. And so it was tough, I would do that. Um, never got the proper food, never got the proper shoes, clothing was pretty bad. Um, when I'd go into the children's receiving home, the doctor looked and says, oh my God, my goodness, you've been malnutrition. And, and I'm going to just tell you this. I knew what it was like to be poor. I knew what it was like to not have a home. And so my motivation was, I said, you know what? I'm not going to be poor. I've all, I said that in my life. I'm not going to be poor. I'm not going to be poor. I hate being poor because it, it, it's disgusting in my eyes, all right? And so uh, when I grew up, I, I thought that the whole time and I made it a goal. I was going to figure out how to actually make it in this world. Mind you, I didn't have a mom, didn't have the dad, didn't have family members that could actually help me. If I couldn't make it, you know, most people can go to their family members or a friend or something like that and they'll help them financially. I didn't have that. So I knew I was totally on my own. As soon as I turned 18, while I was growing up, and being in foster home home, I, I did learn how to work, okay? I was very fortunate. I'd go out, I'd rake leaves, mow lawns, pull weed, you did. And I, I was like a miser, meaning I saved every single penny. I didn't know why. I just knew that I saved everything. But something inside of me said, you know, you gotta save money, John. You gotta save money. Well, when I turned 18, guess what? If I did not save, I couldn't survive. All that money I'd saved helped me to survive when I was on my own because I didn't even have a job. In fact, you know when you're young and you and they say, where's your experience? What kind of jobs you have? And I go, I haven't had any jobs. You know, everybody says, what's your experience? So I had enough money to live, you might say, until I could go out there and, you know, get a job. And then when it came to going to college, because I knew I needed to go to college, need to be a better person, um, um, I went there and First, I realized that I didn't really know how to read well. And reading a college textbook was, was very challenging and daunting. In fact, every single class that I took, I was getting straight Fs, okay? Now, while I was growing up, I remember my social worker was, says that, uh, you know, you're, you are mentally retarded. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. First of all, you know, Family members, friends, mom, dads, they will say things to you and make you feel bad and you think that's what you are. In other words, you get brainwashed. I'm telling you that's not the truth because I learned something in my life. I uh, met this, this person and I said, I, I flunked every single class. And, and she goes, and I go, she goes, what's the problem? I said, well, I'm mentally retarded, I was told. And she goes, you're not mentally retarded. Who in the world told you that? Luckily, I came across her and she says, there's nothing wrong with you, John. There's absolutely nothing. You need to learn how to do certain things. And she says, Let, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you. I was very, she took me under her wing. She mentored me. Okay. And as you might know about me, I am a coach. I am a mentor for well over 40 some odd years. All right. So she mentored me and showed me exactly how to be successful and go to school. I went from straight F's in college to the next semester, you might say, I got A's and B's. What changed? I didn't get smarter. No way. I didn't take a, a smart pill. No way. What happened is my paradigm changed. My paradigm said, and I found out that I wasn't a retard. I was okay. Now, granted, I needed to improve my reading, which I did, and I worked really hard. I found some phonics, because I found out phonics is how you learn how to read. Of course, I didn't know that one at the time, because I had memorized basically 1,500 or 2,000 words, so I could sight read is what it is, but I didn't know how to read. And so I taught myself how to read uh, phonics, and then I went from you know A's and B's, and I found out I, I, I was smart. 
And I found out that I am a highly intelligent person. Um, once again, I'm, I'm a go-getter. Nobody out there, I'm gonna tell you this right now, nobody works as hard as John Shepkoff. I work really hard. I'm also a finance advisor. I've been doing that for over 40 years. If you're on my uh, website, you know that I teach people how to be totally debt-free, including mortgage, approximately seven to nine years. I developed that program. I developed a training system for people actually how to make money in the business of magic. If you want to, you can do, or you can just get, you know, your alkaline ionized water meters. You can, you don't have to do the business, but I make money in that. Now, my whole life, I have been an entrepreneur pretty much all my life, okay? And I found out and I learned in life that if you are an entrepreneur, you always, 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 I'm going to say this, not everybody, but always, if you have the right attitude is, is you will always make more money than the same field. So for example, let's say I was an attorney and I wish I thought about being an attorney. I wished I would have focused it, but I didn't because I was scared and I didn't have any backup, you know, so I didn't go that route, but I, I wanted to be an attorney. I really did. I also studied to be a CPA. Um, I was very good at, at math as well. And, uh, but I didn't pursue that. You know why I didn't want to be a CPA? Bottom line is my head was always in the book. Now today you can be a CPA and it, you're on computers, but back then you, you, you did everything on, on paper in the books. And I, I thought that was the most boring thing. I, w I could do it. I was smart enough, but I hated it because I didn't get to be, I didn't mingle with people. And I like people, I really do. I am a shy and timid person, but I still like being with people uh, and helping them because that's my background, okay? And so um, I, I said, you know, that isn't gonna, and so I found out my best interest was actually when I was in, in the sales, okay? Um, what I, uh, I did a lot of things. I did Kirby vacuum cleaners. Um, I, I, I did, you know, Kenny shoes. I sold shoes. I uh, got to, you know, look at everybody's feet, you might say. Um, I did a lot of sales job and I found out I did fairly well. And the reason is, bottom line is, is I like talking to people when I would be with them. And my whole attitude was, I'm helping you to get the very best whatever it is I was doing. If I was selling a Kirby vacuum cleaner, I want you to have the best va vacuum cleaner. If I was selling shoes, I want you to have the best shoes for your feet so you can go out and run a mile or whatever. That was my whole attitude. I, I like helping people. And so my track with that, and then I got, you know, I decided to go into finance and I found out that uh, I was good at it. Um, and because I could educate and teach people. And then what happened is I, I developed a system how to be totally debt free, including the mortgage and product seven, nine years that I personally developed, which if you're going on my website, you can listen to that entire thing. And if you're interested, you can actually, you can do things on your own. I developed the system on that and do that as well. And then I got into where I was helping people. I became a loan officer. I became a realtor. And I was like number three in the state of California. I was like number one, uh, you know, like I said, or I was number three in the state of California, but I made a tremendous amount of money. Now, you know, what's, what's my why? Well, I'm telling you number one is I hate being poor. I don't not like being poor. Number two, I didn't like not having a home. So I've had some really nice homes. In fact, you, you'll see a picture. If you look on that, that video, you're going to see a home that I built. $1.6 million. I think I was age, uh, see, 20, see, I think I was, see, wait, I was, I was uh, about 30 years of age. Uh, I built a couple custom built homes, but the 1.6 that you're going to see in the video, uh, that was my, my grand home. Uh, very big, never will build another home like that again. And I paid... Uh, I paid for the home in cash in three and a half years, okay? So you could tell the kind of money I was, I was making a lot of money, okay? And uh, and I'm a miser. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Why am I a miser? Because I know what it's like to not have money. So where most people are buying yachts and in cars and in lots of homes, I didn't do that. I was saving it, you know, and so I did. And I develop a system how to pay off any home in approximately seven to nine years. If you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But the whole purpose of it is, I, I knew my why. I just know that even to this day, I'm 64 years of age. 
Uh, I don't do any drugs. Uh, never. My my dad was an alcoholic. I remember he let me try it because uh, I got to live with him a very short, little short while when it was eight, see, age 12. And maybe it was like two or three months. And then he left and that meant I got turned back into foster homes again. That was another rat race on that, you know. But I remember him giving me the alcohol. I know he was an alcoholic. And I tried and I thought, Ugh, this is disgusting. And I never did. Um, I did try uh, cigarettes uh, when I was probably 10 or 11 years because I got into another false home. Somebody said, oh, you got to try this. This is great. And I remember trying. I thought, <coughs> I couldn't breathe. I said, I'm not going to smoke. So I, I've never drugs. I don't smoke. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm not saying I'm a goody, goody kid, but drugs was never a part of it. Alcohol was never a part of it. Um, I do caffeine, not a lot of caffeine, very little, okay, but I do, I tell people, yes, I do a caffeine once in a while, but when I do drink sodas, I drink, if I drink one eight ounce can of soda, I know that I have to drink 64 ounces of water to push all that, uh, that soda out because it's, it's very alkaline and it, it destroys your body. So I do that. Uh, people wonder, how in the world do I have so much energy? I'm going to tell you, it probably has to do with the water that I drink, the Kangen water, because it pushes the toxin. It took probably about, for me, I think it took about seven months to I realized the toxin got pushed out of my body. And so um, I, I feel really good. I don't, I don't take any kind of medicine at all. Um, I don't believe it. If the doctor was to say, Hey, John, you're going to need to take medicine because whatever, you know, somebody, I just say, I wouldn't do it. I just, I, I, I figure I'm not going to do it because to me, when you start taking medicine, don't take it personally if you have to take medicine, but I think your body becomes dependent on it. And, um, and that, um, I had, uh, for example, uh, I had allergies and I never had allergies until I was like about 20 some odd years age. I never had it. And all of a sudden I, I developed allergies and, and so it was always a persistent, you know, uh, you know, not bad, you know, coughing, sneezing type of deal. And, uh, you know, last year I decided to do allergies. I got allergy shots and I was, I was able to cut back way back on taking stuff like Sudafed and Excedrin. Cause what happened is, you know, I get so much pressure in my sinus and, um, I'd have to, you know, take Sudafed and Excedrin to make it feel better. And I was taking it probably like once or twice per week. That's a lot. And because of, since I've been on a whole year, now I take Excedrin and a Sudafed probably about every three to four months. And, 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 the, and I'm getting rid of my allergy. I'm almost completely, I'm still taking out, I get allergy shots. Uh, and I will tell you this, it is expensive um, because uh, you have to pay for it. And I'm just gonna tell you, it is pricey. Is it worth it? Absolutely, I think it is because you know, I don't like to deal with allergies in, anymore like I used to. So my whole thing is, what I want to tell you is, unless you know your why, like I said, my why is this, to do the business of Enagic, here's the bottom line, is I, I like to give, I like to get people the, the alkaline ionized structured water machines because I know it will improve their life like it's done for me. Um, I, I have a K8 and that's probably 99 percent of all my sales are all K8. They're all. I, I sell most of them in the United States and in Canada and then I'm also in nine different other countries. And, and if you know this, I'm the only person in the business of an adjunct that will coach, mentor, and even help people with their first 10 sales. So my thing is um, I love helping people. Okay. That makes me feel good. Um, and I'm going to tell you this, having money is a lot better than not having any money. Uh, I'm not poor, okay? I, I, I have a nice home. I do drive, you know, a nice luxury car. I try to pay cash rate. I use, don't get me wrong, I do use my credit card every single month. I do spend a lot, but I pay that credit card off every single month. In fact, for the last 15, close to 20 years, I've never paid any interest on a credit card because as soon as I get my credit card bill, Bam, I pay it off. I, I don't. Um, the banks are amazed when they when I look at the bottom, it says total interest you had paid for the whole year. Zero. Zero. Uh, I remember having way back, you know, I think I paid like 35 cents. And sometimes you can't get around because it's you know, I do buy stuff out of the country. I do a lot of that stuff as well, because sometimes you can't get stuff in the US. So I'm just gonna tell you this: you have to understand your why. And uh, you have to like 
people. You like you need to be able to help help people. I like helping people. That's why for the past 40 some odd years, I've been coaching and mentoring people how to be totally debt free, including the mortgage, in approximately seven to nine years. I love to see that. Schools don't train you. Colleges don't teach you. Nobody teaches you anything how to be totally debt free. They don't. I don't know why, um, but they don't. I also have a affirmation, not affirmation, affirmation. What is that? It's something I developed. I. What happened is, was this one guy? He made an affirmation, and he had something like fifteen. He's the main guy who did it. I don't know his name, but I. I'm the kind of person. I see something, and I can make it better okay so i made 167 affirmations so for example what is affirmation these are positive things that you say about yourself so for instance you know you don't say um you know i like myself i feel happy i feel healthy i feel terrific that's not affirmation that's affirmation you're 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 trying to psych yourself out and it never works doesn't work okay affirmations what does that do for you what happens is when you do affirmations and there's, there's only one person besides myself, and I don't do it as a living, I do it because I want people to use the affirmation to help better themselves. So I got 167. So for example, I'll just go through a, a few of them here for you. You know, like I'll say, um, why do I make friends? Why do I make a lot of money? Why do I like talking to people over the phone? Why do I get along with new clients? How come I can get new business relief? Notice the pattern. I'm asking you a question or myself when I listen, because I listen to my own affirmation. I try to do it three times a day, once in the morning, afternoon, and just before I go to bed. Why? Why before going to bed? Because the last thing that your brain thinks about, your brain tries to work on that. And so what your brain is trying to do is, it's trying to figure out the answers. When I ask questions, your brain tries to figure out the answer. Now, it may take months and months and months. It could take years until you get rid of what's called stinking thinking. You know what I'm talking about because um, when I was growing up, remember I told you, uh, my social worker says I was mentally retarded. That's what I thought I was, okay? Or you'll never turn out to be in it. You'll never make any money. Uh, You're a loser. You know, people say things and your brain, you think that's what it is. You think that's gospel. And in fact, it's not, okay? So by listening to these affirmations, it's going to change and help you to get rid of stinking thinking. And you can look it up. You'll find it. Um, And and I encourage you. I've had, I got thousands and thousands and thousands of people that listen. And the funny thing is, I got more people that go over to my affirmation than than the guy who designed it and charged people. I don't, okay? But he makes a living out of this. I just... Learn what he did and I improved on it much better. But I got more views than he does. And he's the guy who developed this thing, you know, probably over, you know, what, close to 15, 20 some odd years ago. So I encourage that. But you got to know your why. Uh, listen to your affirmations. Don't let people tell you that you're a loser or you're not going to turn out to be or you can't be this or you can't be that. You know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of garbage out there that people want to brainwash you and, and that you can. You can make a lot of money. I'm living proof, all right? You can be better. I am I will tell you this. There's nobody out there I know, as far as I know, that works harder than John Shepkoff. And I'm telling you, I'm being truthful. Um, I was the, the number three in the state of California. I did more business. The average person, this was back, you know, about close to 20 some odd years ago. Uh, at the time, I was making something like $35,000. That's a lot of money back then, 20 some odd years ago. And what happened is I went to work with this broker and he says, John, you can make $100,000 if you want to. And I thought, oh, you're, you're full. I said it to myself. I didn't say it to my boss. And I just said, you're full of it. Okay. That's what I was thinking. But I said to myself, wow, what if he's right? And so I said, okay, what do I got to do? And he said, John, it's so simple. You're not going to believe it. In fact, you're probably... You disregard what I'm saying, and it'll just whatever blow your. But I'm telling you, you can't make a hundred thousand. I said, what do I got to do? Tell me, tell me, what do I have to do? Because I was making, mind you, it's going to be three times the amount of money. And he said, all you have to do is forget about the money and help the people. In other words, stop worrying how much money you're going to make. Stop worrying about your hip pocket and help the people. I go, that's it. 
And I was sort of laughing inside my head and I thought that's way too easy. That doesn't sound possible. But I thought, what if he's right? What if he's right? So I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my whole attitude. I said, I'm not, of course I needed money, but I had to change my attitude and I had to get rid of that stinking thinking, which is also what would help me to develop the affirmation I made. But what I did is I said, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna help people get you know, their money. I, I've sold millions and millions and millions of dollars and it all started out because I changed my attitude. So the first year, remember I said, he said I can make 100,000. So at the end of the year, he says, well, John, how much did you make? Now, he knew how much because he was my boss. He was paying me, but he wanted to see what if I was keeping tabs and you know remember the conversation. And I said, well, I said, I actually did pretty good. And he goes, what'd you do? I said, I made 125,000. He goes, good for you, congratulations. And he says, well, now, how would you like to make 200? <laughs> I said, okay, <laughs> what do I gotta do? He said, it's simple. All you have to do is help the people and stop worrying about the money. That was exactly the same thing he said the first time to me. And I thought, well, maybe he has some more there. You know, I, I got to change my attitude. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Between the first year and then the second year, nothing changed. I didn't work harder, didn't work, but I did work what? I worked smarter. I learned, okay, from my mistakes. And I stopped. And, you know, there were times I would lose the deal. I remember losing a million dollars. And you know what? People used to say, well, John, he goes, aren't you upset? You know, because they thought I would have bought you know, a house, a boat or whatever, a yacht. And I said, no, it was never mine to begin with. That's what I said. It was never mine. I had a good attitude. And so the whole time is. And so how much money did I make the second year? I made a little over 200000 The third year... The second year, he didn't ask me again, how would I like to make more? He didn't ask me that question. He, did, he says, okay, fantastic, you're doing good. Now, I was making probably as much as he was now, all right? Then I said, you know what? I'm going to keep doing exactly what I'm doing, and I'm going to try to be the very best to help people. Don't worry about any money. Just help people. You know, stay focused. Make sure you help people. If I got paid, I got paid. If I didn't, whatever. So I changed it. Guess what? The next year I made 300,000. The following year I made 400,000. The following year I made over $500,000. I'm not smarter. All that I did is I changed my paradigm and my thinking. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you my secret here. The secret is when you're trying to make money, especially what I do, like in an adjunct, you gotta stop worrying about the money. Okay, you wanna be debt free, you, you, you gotta listen to me, you gotta do exactly, I've got a training, you gotta do my training, uh, you gotta let me help you if you wanna do the business of an adjunct, and I'm just gonna tell you, you have to get what's called, get rid of your stinking thinking. Now, I've been listening to my own affirmations for good grief, over 20 some odd years. I have my own, I listen to my own, the one that I give to you, I listen to that. And yes, I keep getting better and better because I learn from my questions, you know, why am I happy? Why am I healthy? Why am I terrific? Why do I make friends easy? Why do I make a lot of money? All these questions, there's like 167 questions that I ask and I'm listening to that and my brain figures out. One day I, I went to the bank and she says, how are you doing? And I said, I am doing fantastic. How about you? And she goes, I don't believe this. She goes, Every single time you come in the bank, I've never heard you say one negative thing. I go, what do you mean by that? She says, I said, aren't people positive? She goes, no way. They, they lay out their garbage, their junk, and they're, they're, sometimes they can be brutal. And she goes, but you have never done this over the years. You've never, you've always been positive every single time. And, you know, I, I just think that's just amazing, you know, what you do and how you're doing it. You know, I don't know how it is, but I, I like the idea that you seem to be a very positive. And it is. It shows because over the course. So, so I, I would tell you this. The more you listen to it, the longer you listen, the better you're going to get. Okay. If I hopefully I've sold you on the idea. It doesn't cost anything. It's something I'm giving to you. If you want to go out and find it, uh, you know, or we get connected, I'll show you uh, on that. But it's something I believe you have to want to help people. This is part of my why. So if you understand what is them. The other thing I want you to understand is this. Uh, there's two things I will not talk about. Number one, I will not talk about politics. I don't talk politics. Okay. The second thing is I don't talk about religion. 
Okay, I am a very religious person. In fact, I believe uh, in God and I believe in his son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Okay, the other thing is uh, I'm in a, uh, in a very worldwide major church that I go to. It is worldwide. Now, uh, that's enough said. I, I will not push any religion on anybody. I don't. But if a person asks me a question, of course, I'm not going to be tight-lipped. I will share if they ask. But my rule of thumb is never talk about religion, never talk about politics. And I just don't because it just they don't mix. And I'm going to tell you the thing, is, the thing is, but I'm happy if you do have God in your life, okay, like I have God in my life, then I believe, and this is my own personal feelings, don't take it personally if you don't believe in God, but I believe because I do believe in God that because of that, I feel that my life is better because of this, all right? Um, and But you, you know, you, you have to totally believe in what you're doing. Just like if you wanna be debt free, you have to totally believe what you're doing is the right thing. If you want to sell the alkaline ionized structured water, you have to totally believe in the water. If you don't believe in the water, I'm gonna tell you this right now, people can hear it in your voice. I'm gonna tell you this straight up. I've been doing uh, Enagic now over six years, six months. I started in 2015, that's a long time. Most people don't survive for the first 30, 60, 90 days. They don't, and here's the biggest reason. The reason why they don't is because they don't make money. And why don't they make money? Well, I'm gonna tell you the secret. Number one is they don't have someone like me, John Shepkoff, who actually will coach and mentor and even help that individual with 10 complete sales. And I can go into the details what exactly that means, but nobody does that. See, my attitude is if I help you to make money, then guess what? John Shepkoff's making money. Such a simple solution. It's a very simple thing, but guess what? Nobody, I don't know why, nobody wants to help people. But the way I look at it is if I help you to make money, then I make money. It just it just comes automatically. So I'm, I'm so dumbfounded when I hear, and I, I get hundreds literally per year, people who have joined in Agic, but they'll comment and they'll say they're not making money. I said, well, you need to talk to your upline. You know, oh, by the way, this is not, Enagic is not multi-level marketing. It has a feel, but it has a patented income, means that if you came in and you decided you wanted to buy your K8 machine and you also want to make money, you can actually make more money than John Shepkoff. I'm telling you straight up, because when I did, I started making more money than the person that brought me into it. Um, and so I'm telling you, you can't if you want to. Um, I want to tell you this, I'm one of the hardest, per I work really, really, really hard. Not only do I work my own business, but I'm gonna tell you this, I believe in what's called, I do direct sales, okay? Um, and you're gonna learn that. Uh, I talk to a lot of people over the phone, out of the countries, uh, in Canada, and of course the United States, which, which most of my business is, but I've got nine other countries I deal with because I am the only one in an edict that will take the time and teach and coach and mentor and help those people. Those other people just don't do it. They'll sell you a K8 or whatever, and then they drop you like a hot rock. See, if you're gonna get in this business, you can't have that attitude. See, you, you have to want to help people, and you want to better yourself. And of course, if you wanna make a lot of money, you gotta have that brain of yours, you've gotta change the way you think. Get rid of all that stinking thinking. Even if you're not making money, you, you can't think that way. You have to keep positive, PMA, positive, mental attitude. Um, how many books do you read? Uh, I, I try to read at least one book per week, okay? Uh, how many books do I have on my desk right now? I think I have about seven or eight books that I'm currently reading. I do, I read, 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 read. Because the more, I'm gonna tell you this, knowledge is powerful. The more you understand, the better you're gonna be in this business. I'm gonna tell you this. And, and so my thing to you is read lots of lots of sociology and psychology. I, I'm you know somewhat of an expert in psychology and sociology. I've got years and years and years, okay? I'm not a, a therapist or an, 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 an analyst or anything like that, but I can do the work of this. I can negotiate, okay? 
But I do this on my own because guess what? That way I understand people better. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. Number one is, you're never gonna sell everybody the first time. You don't. If you think you're gonna sell people the SD51 or K8 machine, you got it all wrong. I never, I've never sold one yet. I've done well over 200 sales and I've never sold a single one. People want to buy, okay? They want to buy, but they don't want to be sold. And I keep telling people, I've been saying this for over years and years, stop trying to sell people. Nobody wants to be sold, but they want to buy. So now you understand my why. You know who John Shepkoff is. I hope you can actually pick up the phone. If you want to get my debt program, if you're going to have to watch it and look at it. I already teach you how to do your mortgage on your own if you want to do that. Um, I also teach you how to do a debt, but if you want to go way and beyond it and how to pay off and how to expedite and do certain things, then you're going to have to get my program. I charge very little for that. I, and I do it as a courtesy because I want to see people debt free. I want to see people make a lot of money. I like seeing people happy. Okay. And that's what you got. You got to be a person that likes people and likes doing things for people. It's not all about me, myself, and I. You can't think that way, all right? Um, I do a lot of direct sales, but I'm gonna tell you this. You know, some people, they'll get into the business and what they'll do is they'll bring people in and they want all the other people doing all the work and they just sit and out, do not fold their arms and they and want to collect a paycheck. doesn't work that, my friends. What I do is called direct sales. And I love doing direct sales. In fact, I average. My goal is to do seven to 11 sales every single month, every single, every single month, all throughout 12 months, working every single month, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I, I get paychecks in Christmas time and people are always, I hear people crying blue and they go, I don't make any money in Christmas time. I don't make any money in January. And I go, you're kidding me. If you work, you wouldn't have to worry about that. If you wanna make, a, I'm just gonna tell you this, if you wanna make a lot of money in an magic, you can. I promise you, you can, but you're gonna to have to go to work. If you want, if you, especially if you come with me, I will coach, I will mentor, I will help you with 10, and I will, you know, you're gonna get a complete training system at no cost to you. So as you can see, hopefully you understand who John Shepkoff is, why I am who I am. You have to know your why. If you know your why, you will be the very best. I'm just gonna tell you that, okay? I'm not afraid to work. I'm a very, 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 very hard worker. I work hard. Not only do I work hard for myself, because I believe if you do direct sales, you're gonna make a lot of money, but guess what? My downline, so you gotta, you have to show your downline that you can do it too. You can't tell someone to, to do you know, three or one machine or whatever if you don't do yourself. See, I can tell people, you know, I'm doing 11, seven to 11. The highest month I've ever done is 13 machines, and they're all K8s, by the way. Um, and to me, in magic, I can do I can do an magic like in my sleep. It is so easy. Most of my business, 99% of my business is over the telephone. All right, strictly over the telephone. I I have a list of entrepreneurs that I call on, which I will help you. But there's like four phases of my system that you need to go through. You got to take the baby step. You got to go step one, two, three, four. Once you get the fourth, you can do exactly what I'm doing. Okay, but you gotta take your bumps and your lumps. You have to learn, and, and you gotta learn how to communicate effectively, and guess what? My training system on that is gonna teach it. You're gonna be so well-rounded, you'll be able to do everything you want. So hopefully, you know who John Shepkoff is, you know my personality, you see I'm a, I'm a pretty much go-lucky kind of person. I've had some hard knocks, but because of my hard knocks, I'm a better person today. And if I promise you this, if you like people, you will do well. You really will uh, in that. You will do well uh, in an adjunct. If you want, you will do well. You can get totally debt free, but you gotta have your attitude. It's gotta be changed. You gotta want to be totally debt free. You gotta want to actually make a lot of money. You can't just wish it. it doesn't work that way. You gotta want it and, and, and go after it, you might say. Um, nobody's gonna come to your door and just offer it and give something to you. You gotta work hard. And I, that's one thing is I'm not afraid to work. I'm a very, very hard worker because I know, honestly, I know what it's like to be without food, without clothing, without shoes, without shelter. I really know what it is. So yes, I'm satisfied you know, in my life now because I've done the right things. I've helped people. I'm not afraid to help people. Um, I've been totally debt free for over 20 some odd years. I've done, you know, millions of dollars of homes that I built for myself, uh, not to be bragging, 
but because um, I want a better lifestyle for myself. And um, I, I'm not a showy kind of person. I am not a showy person. I'm just like a regular person out on the street. You saw me. I wouldn't be anything spectacular. I do have a nice car. I do have a nice home. And I do have certain things that I want my home to be. But I'm not, like you, you don't see jewelry except for a ring, wedding ring, okay? I don't even wear watches. My friends, okay, have bought me expensive watches because they think, I don't know what it is. You know, they think I need a watch, okay? I know how to tell time, I really do. Uh, but my friends have bought me expensive, you know, watches and, you know, and I never asked for, you know, people, you know, people give you things, people will do things for you because it, it really depends on your attitude. See, if you like life, people will bend over Back. I'm telling you right now, people will bend over backwards. Just like my boss, way, way, way back there. He says, John, you want to make 100000 Remember, I told you, I sort of laughed in my, inside my head. Didn't do it in front of him. He probably would have said, you're fired. But he says, you want to make 100000 And I, I remember thinking to myself, that's three times more than what I make now. I was making 35000 way back then. I thought it was a lot of money. And he says, 100000 I just thought, there's no way it could be done. But because I had it, you know, I, I changed my thinking. I said, but what if, what if he's right? What if he really is right? And you know what? I'm going to tell you this right now. He was right. All I did is change my thought. I didn't get smarter. I, well, granted, I, I worked smarter, yes, but I didn't, I didn't have to really work harder. See, what I do is I try to work smarter and not harder. In, in the business of finance, what I do, if you, if you decide you want to do this, okay, it's up to you. I only put in, as a full-time, I put in three to five hours per day. And guess what? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Hopefully you will. Okay. I only work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I only work three days. So I have uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have four days off. I work three, and I only work three to five hours. You're not going to start out like I am, Okay. Um, and the reason is because you got to work at it. You got to do it like I did. You got to work hard and you got to prove to people that you really want to help them. And then you'll get, you'll get referrals. I get lots of referrals. Okay. It comes to that. Um, I get, I, I, on average, I talk to about, I'm going to say about 400 people. See, most people won't do what I do. Okay. I go out of my comfort and I call entrepreneurs. So for mind you, 400 people. And how many do I close on average per month? About seven to 11. So you know that I'm not lying, all right? I have the people, it's proof right there. And guess what? I just have fun talking to people. I never sell them. I just talk. Hey, how's it going? How's life treating you? You know, is, you know do you like what's going on? You're not? If not, you know, I believe I have something that might interest you also. And I, and I have a conversation. And sooner or later, you know, they, they're, they're saying, well, I'd like to get the Alkaline Ionized machine for my health-wise. Fantastic. You know, if you want to make money, you can if you want to. And then, of course, they do that as well. And they tell them, I'll even help you with 10. So there it is, my friends. Now you, who, you know who John Shepkoff is. You know my why. You need to know what your why is. And if you do exactly what I'm sharing with you today and you understand it, I will see you, my friends, at the top.